So hello there and welcome to another review of the Shield doing a couch. I'm your host Hector and tonight we're going to talk about the fourth album by Singapore grindcore band Worm Rot. And their new album is called His. And I have to say that I'm not a huge fan of grindcore and I don't know a whole lot about this band. But it really uh, is, this is an album that really caught my attention and I knew I've heard something of the band and, you know, legend. Most of it was that photo of the lead singer and being in a mosh pit with a goat in there. And I thought, <laughs> I just remembered that. So when I went to talk to about this album right now, I did a little bit of like digging and I found that picture and I saw, oh, so Worm Rot is the band that had the grindcore goat. Rest in peace, Grindcore Goat. But enough about the goat. Let's talk about this album. This is an album that has 21 songs. And when you think 21 songs, you think, oh, this has to be a super long album. But no, it's 33 minutes of pummeling Grindcore. And it never lets up. Uh, most of these 21 songs are no more longer than uh, two minute mark. They're almost at the one minute 37. There's even songs that are like 30 to 35 seconds. The only song that is a four minute song, the longest one, is the song that closes the album, Glass Shards. But besides that, every song is super short. But what the band does really good in their short time is that they really know how to blend different elements. And it's not just a pure grindcore. Uh, band where you get all those pummeling sounds and squeaking, screechy noises and and gutturals and like super noise and it's over. No, they experiment with different uh, types of metal and genres. For example, Behind Closed Doors, which is the lead single that they put out, that song has more of a thrash metal guitar into their grindcore sound. Uh, and it has some gang vocals uh, in its 1 minute and 35 seconds. So it's like a, it's like their party song, if you will. And I thought that it was a good uh, song to have as a lead single. And it's really good. Then there's songs where the lead singer, Arif, uh, does some clean vocals. For example, on a song like uh, Broken Maze, uh, there's clean vocals that go in with the style and I like it when they use other type of vocals and not just rely on those screechy like sounds that grindcore is known for. Uh, then they also have a song like When Talking Fails It's Time for Violence and that's a super short song at 1 minute 15 but that song has some gang vocals in a hardcore style and uh, I like those gam vocals because they make the song ber like kind of like a sing-along in grindcore, which is not very something that you would see a lot in this type of music. Uh, but you have songs that are very interesting, like Seizures, for example. That's another song that mixes grindcore with some fresh metal style guitars. And I like the, there's some, a little bit of guitar soloing on it and, and, you feel the frantic nature of the song being called Seizures. But then you have like songs like Greed that features some violin. And the violin on this song really gives it a dark, sinister feel, an eerie feel. I, when I was listening to that song, I thought of those Japanese movies like the Ringu and the Grudge, but the Japanese versions and that type of sounds that they use in those horror movies uh, from that culture. I thought that that was very prevalent in the violins that they use in that song. And I think they use it in another of the songs on the album. And I thought that that really made it stand out and not just be like a, a grindcore song through and through. You know, it gave it more depth, if you will. So I really like that they did those things and they took some uh, experimentation in some of the songs. So Greed features Mira Shu. He's, she's an 18 year old violinist and I think her inclusion on this song is great and other songs that the band used in they did a video with Greed 
Weeping Willow and Voiceless Choir that really give this uh, video a more cinematic feel and they're honoring Asian cinema with this music video. So this is a video that you should watch uh, after you see this review because it's pretty interesting. The last song on the album, Glass Shards, is, has some frantic vocals and blast beats that end the album like uh, really hard. You know, this is an album that it never lets you go in its 33 minute runtime. You know, it's, it's, it's harsh. I wouldn't say that this would be an easy listen to someone uh, that doesn't listen to this music. Uh, I really had to listen to it and, and I, I enjoyed the different elements. And because it was all grindcore all the way, uh, I think it would have been a little bit too much for me, but it's not a soft album by any means. You know, if you like your grindcore, if you like those short, energetic songs, there's plenty of that in this album. So the only bad thing is that Arif, the lead singer, he did a great job on it, and it's his swan song with the band. So unfortunately, uh, he's going in what uh, I've seen other reviewers and many people say that this is the band's best album to date. So. It's a shame that he has to leave just when they put out this, uh, you know, record that it's, uh, you know, there's, uh, I tried to nitpick, but you know, it's, it's, there's nothing bad about it. You know, it's, there's great music in it. Uh, the vocal delivery is very frantic and, and heartfelt. And I, I like that they experimented with some fresh, some hardcore, some crossover styles and mix some different elements to the grindcore sounds to make the band stand out among other bands that do this. So I thought that was very good. So uh, at the end of the day, I think that uh, Wormbrot His is a really good album that uh, you should check out even if you don't like grindcore. Check it out just to so you can listen to it and, and appreciate uh, the experimentation that they did on this record. So. What did you think by Haze of Wormrod? Do you like Grindcore or is it not your thing? Comment, what were your favorite tracks? I would really want to know. So if you like the videos that I'm putting out, you know, don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I have more content on the way. So until next time, this is Hector, the Shield Dude in a Couch, and I'll see you right here on the couch. Thank you and good night.